Well, welcome everyone, and thank you for joining us for this government preview of a new Global Forest Monitoring Partnership. Today you will get a sneak peek of Global Forest Watch 2.0, a new, interactive, near real-time forest monitoring system that unites satellite imagery, cloud computing, and cloud sourcing to transform transparency in forests around the globe. Global Forest Watch 2.0 version developed by the World Resources Institute with many partners presents a very important step in empowering decision makers. Indeed, experience has shown that in order to promote sustainable forest management and reverse deforestation, we need up-to-date, transparent, consistent, and reliable information. So the simple vision for Global Forest Watch 2.0 is to take that complexity, make it simple, accessible, easy to understand, and ensure that it is updated very, very frequently, that the information is available in near real time. The good news is that advances in technology and the way people interact with each other around the world and the way governments uh, are operating is making all of this much, much easier than it was even a couple of years ago. Satellite technology and remote sensing is expanding and improving by leaps and bounds, and the cost of high-resolution imagery is plummeting. As we are aware, forest monitoring is more needed now than ever. As all is, are watching for as for their contribution to maintain land-based productivity, biodiversity, water, energy, environment, and climate change mitigation and adaptation. And so having this kind of information, this is, I think, a real, what you would call a transformative change. This means that the data that we also were desperate to have, we can have, and we can have it in ways that we can share it with our citizens and we can decide and try to move policies and programs forward that are, that are really helpful and important. I think like everything, um, change also raises a lot of questions. And I think this will be a fascinating period in time as we use this transformative tool to really improve the state of the forests around the world. Uh, of course, this will give the government a huge uh, in, um, uh, capability to um, come up with a good, good policy, but also it offers the potential to go beyond the traditional authorities uh, to um, say the communities, the CSOs, and private sectors. So this is a notion of this partnership and, and bring everybody in the role under this initiative has a quite a um, tremendous uh, potential to, to, to be exploited. Uh, we also are um, in the final stages of preparing a GEF project uh, with some countries where we want to test and validate this methodology um, and where we can work in particular on the ground truthing that was mentioned already several times here. That project is still open for further countries, so uh, we'll take your ambition up right here and now <laughs> and see um, if there are additional countries who want to join us. Uh, um, bringing stakeholders together uh, so that they can use this and then they demand more and better information. Um, I think that would be a fabulous outcome of this. Um, and we've built this and the team and the partnership is structured in such a way and the project is managed in such a way that we will respond to demands from users. We need to hear from you, from governments, from business, from communities, uh, from NGOs, how you want to use this, how you want the information presented, what's missing, and how we can make it better. And our commitment, our absolute commitment, is that this entire initiative is driven by responding to those demands from users.